tell Tony it's a real money in the room. How you doing, Miss Dana? How you doing? New Orleans, Louisiana, in the building. We're here on the Bob Report. Um, you, you coming through Texas, so we had to stop with you. Uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to be able to, you know, chop some game with you, put some facts out there. Um, so tell everybody where you're from for the people who don't know. Hi, my name is Dana. They call me Soldier D, Magnolia D, Magnolia Dana, whatever you want to call me. I'm from the Magnolia Project, 2018 Willow Apartment D. Um, grew up and raised there. And that's in New Orleans. And that's in New Orleans in the third ward uptown. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm from Texas, like the next state over from the boot. And we, we hear a lot about New Orleans, Louisiana, how crazy and gangster it was. Mm -hmm. um, in, in, in your era, in your time growing up, was it as crazy as, as we, we thought? In my area, in my time, yes, it was off the charts, but it's still like that. It's worse now because the youngsters took over where all the people my age group left off at. When you say it's worse, like what 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 do you mean? Because it was some I used to hear some crazy stories. Worse meaning it's like five and six bodies a day. In the world, maybe seven or eight bodies. Yeah, they kill every day, all day. Everywhere, anywhere, every all the parts of the city, even on the I ten now they catching people, and you know spraying their cars up. It's ridiculous. Okay. It has to get better. And you you grew up in the court where where everything happened. I grew up in a court where everything happened. Saw so all the action, all of it. So you knew everybody. everybody I was there you. for everything and every yeah. I know everybody. What what it what it. What do people know Dana by? People know Dana by... And I like um, your hair. I ain't mean to cut y'all, but I'm, I'm liking that blue. Thank you. I got to rock my blue. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, people will know me from Dana as far as, you know, staying in the Willow Coat. You know, I kept a job. I always busy. Like, you know, three jobs at one time because I had to take care of my son's father and his friends. You know, I would make sure they were straight by me being four years older than them. And also, you know, just some of my family members are known. So you you know, you know, Stone, Mosquito, Gangster. Stone, Mosquito, Gangster, and Dooney is my age group. Those were, you know, my age group. You know, that was the people that was affiliated with me. But I dropped down from my age group to step to slim age group, soldier slim. You know, um, a lot of people will call those guys legends in the streets. Um, wh what do you know about them? They are legends. They um, their name was the Hot Boys. Um, they was the flyers dressers. Um, they had the baddest cars. They had all the hoes. They basically did everything. And it wasn't to be played with. So they was like that when I mean, they really they're they're they they're pop you in your ass too. Whatever you hear about them, as far as what they did in the street, they did it. It wasn't no fake about them. They did everything that people say they did. So, as far as being a gangster and handling their business, they did that. And brother Terrence Gangster, um, we had him here on the Bob Report. Uh, I actually like Gangster. Um, you know, what do you know about Gangster? Because you know Terrence. Um, Terrence Gangster Williams. Um, Terrence is my brother. You know, um, we're real, real close. We always have been close. If I need anything, he was there for me. If he needed anything, I was there for him. Terrence's mother lived across the coat from me. We stayed in the same coat, Willow Street Court. Mm -hmm. Um, I was on this side by the basketball goal and he was directly in front of me, like across the street from, you know, we stayed in the same place. We grew up together. There's a lot of things on the internet that have been put out about, uh, brother, brother gangster, um, Boosie has been somebody that's been on his, on his, on his top a lot lately. Yes. Um, what do you think about that? Like, is, 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 you know, being that you know him before he even went to prison. 
the, the only thing I could say and what I think about it is they need to be careful because trying to assassinate his character, that's not going to get you nowhere. Mm -hmm. Because like he said, he's retired. He's not doing anything. He's not in the streets no more. He's, you know, he's out the way. He's, you know, clean. He's changed his life, you know. So as far as that in the past, it's in the past, but it can come back at any time if you take him there. You know what I'm saying? So they have to really be careful about how they talk about him and what they say. Cause I'm living, he, I'm living proof. He, he's about that. <laughs> um, the Magnolia and the, and the, and the Calio project, they had a, a beef, right? The Magnolia beefed with everybody. The Melphamine too? They beefed with the Melphamine, they beefed with the Calio, of course, and they beefed with the St. Thomas. Why? Every project there was, they beefed. I don't know, it's just the guys from um, our project they were totally on a level to where if you out of certain hood, I'm gonna look at them. I'm jealous. You know, they got all the hoes. They got all the nice clothes. They got the nice clothes. They got money. You know what I'm saying? And they bought that. So I want what they got. So really all of the, the sections were beefing with the Magnolia. When the Magnolia beefing with them, they were just responding. The Magnolia was responding to anything that came their way. That was a that. lot. A lot. And they handled everything that came their way. Yeah. They didn't leave nothing untouched. How um how crazy was it to have three what do they call them? Not courts, they call them uh Don't tell me. Let me I'm trying to get my Louisiana game right. Um, <laughs> get your Louisiana game on. What is it? Uh is it start with a P? Not parishes. The project. Projects. Yeah, the project. The project. How was it? Um, what you say? To have that many projects coming at one project. That's a lot. It's a lot. And it was probably plenty more silent beefs that they didn't know about either. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like every hood. I say they had about maybe 13, 14 projects in New Orleans. Yeah. And, you know, it was a lot of silent beef. It was people that they were cool with and then turn into foes. But when it came down to, we need you to help us with this situation, they all came together. Gotcha. C Murder and, and Slim were cool. Um, Slim eventually ended up signing with uh, No Limit. Yes. And C Murder was with No Limit, right? Yes, uh, that's Masterpiece's brother. All of those guys being on Cash Money, No Limit, you probably know every one of them. I know everybody. How how did that make you feel to see them um, flourish in the rap game, like all these little dudes that you know? I was affiliated with No Limit because of Slim, but before that, because P, Master P's cousin was my best friend. So they already knew about me. But when it came to Slim signing with him, it was like, P said, <laughs> Slim was a live wire. Okay. So basically he was gonna be a risk being signed to a major label like that. But P took that chance with him and he did it. He signed, he signed him and he, he, he made him be great. Now as far as whatever happened, <clears throat> that was on Slim. Slim messed everything up. But, yeah. So you feel like Slim messed up the business with P? I feel like if Slim, okay, it, I was used as bait a lot. P had a house for everybody, all his artists. It was, it was a, a no limited states. Mm -hmm. And everybody had a house. So Slim didn't ever want to go to his the house in Baton Rouge. So I was the bait. If we could get Dana to get him to come out here, he'll come. It's plenty of times I went out there and told him that I was out there and he still wouldn't come. Yeah. So I'm like, why, why you think he wouldn't I'm this wouldn't place. Come. I'm that place. Come out here. You need to get in the, you need to get in the studio and you need to, you know, do what you have to do. Why do he want to come? 
Because Slim was a street dude. He didn't want to stop doing what he was doing in the street. Had Slim would have stopped all of that foolishness and left that alone, Slim would be great. He would still be here. Do you know Master P? I know Master P personally. What, what do you think about P? I love P because out of everybody, P the one helped me with my son. Mm. I used to work at the airport, the New Orleans International Airport. And every time they came through, it was nothing but love. Every time I worked at security where, you know, your bags go through the conveyor belt or whatever. So every time he came through, he showed my son love. He showed me love. And of course, it was for my son. Mm -hmm. So he took care of my son. Cash money and no limit. Um, were there any like internal beefs that outsiders wouldn't know anything about? Cash money and no limit. I don't know the out. I, I don't know the outside beefs, beefs, beefs with them. I don't really know the beefs. Period. Other than they stayed on one end and they stayed on another end. How you close know? were they? They never came together for anything. How how close were they in proximity? Well, a lot of cash money artists well were well, from the Magnolia Project, hmm. and well, Lil Wayne was from Holly Grove. And BG's off that balance in Magnolia and Turkle's out the Magnolia. Um Wacko's out the Magnolia. Juvie out the Magnolia. So Speaking of uh, Juvie, uh how proud of you how proud of you were how proud of you were for Slim to know that he accomplished that Big go that number one billboard record with Juvie Slow Motion after he passed away. And guess what? Let me tell you that. That was Slim's song. Slim mm -hmm. wrote that song and he asked Juvie to promote the song. He told Juvie to take the song so he can take off with it. Mm -hmm. But that's actually Slim, Slim's song. And, and I'm very proud of the success. I just hate that um, when it came out and everything was done, Slim was already gone. So he didn't see the success of the song that he created. And Juvie being with Cash Money, and Slim is affiliated with No Limit, that was a big win for New Orleans, period, for the whole thing to do what he did. That was a big win for New Orleans. Anything that those guys did was like extraordinary because People look at them as a fact like, oh, they out the project, they're not gonna make it. They this, they that, they they ignorant, they shameful, they do drugs, they do it. No, that's a whole different breed with them. That's like almost the whole New Orleans, right? Between Cash Money and No Limit, like far as like rap, rap shit. Right, and both labels were, you kind of, um, both labels were like both uptown. You know, they both so what's, what's, what's downtown? Downtown? Like who would be from downtown that I might know about? Downtown. Mm. I don't know. You know people from there? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. I'm saying like... like you talking about like them. a rap artist yeah, yeah, or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know who would be downtown. Mm. I don't know. I know P Town Monium, Ses Four Five. Ses Four Five, that's um, my guy. Sinister, Sinister on the tracks. Okay. Um. Downtown. downtown. I only know Ses. That's the only. That's you only know Ses. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah Ses is great. Ses a good guy. Rest in peace, Fifth Wall Weeby. He was from downtown. It's my son. Okay. <laughs> Girl, I'm fucking this over here to say. Hey, what up? This Queen Friends. I got your mama right here. Yo, hold on for a second. Hey, what's up? 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 Hey, 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 you want it? Hey, you do better having a phone. Oh, hey, baby, we about to do you. How you doing, young Slim? How long is it going to take? Because they going to wrap up in a minute. 
Huh? They can hear you if you hold it. The oh, mic on YouTube. he said, "How much? How long is it gonna be?" Forever. Do your thing. How? Tell them we got him here on the Bob Report. We got you here on the Bob Report. <laughs> the Bob Report. Bob. Yeah, yeah. B O B. B O B report. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Be yeah. a real tune TV. Be a real tune TV. He so said, "He know what we talking about." Okay. Yeah, we doing it. I'm doing an interview about my life and everything in the project, and also about your dad. All right. Is there anything you want to speak on about your mother and your father? Oh man, you know my daddy died when I was six years old. Man, my mama been here pulling up the weight through it all. Man, talking about. It was all my court visits, I'm talking about all that visitation, everything. She's been right there through it, through this, through this, through this troubling situation I've been through, you know what I'm saying? Making sure I overcome it. You know what I'm saying? Give the patience and, and, and love that a mama, that, that all the son can ask for, you know what I'm saying? Okay. To the point where I, I straightened up. I, I've been dying and crashing out, but now I straightened up. And you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to get back home, man. Whatever it takes, man. Get part of my education to come back home, man. Right. Um. Do I don't know? You want to speak on your dad? Oh man, you know it's 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 a it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a side suit, man. That I can't fit in, man. But but I I, I show right every time I every chance I can get, man. I try my hardest, man. I'm a family soldier, man. To the bone, Griffin, man. I'm a family. The G way. <laughs> Yeah. How do you feel about them not accepting you? I mean, I mean, you know, at the same time, man, I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't try to, I don't try to keep, you know what I'm saying, bashing it. I, it, it hurt me, you know what I'm saying. It was, it was a trouble, it was a trouble experience to, uh, to, to really just overcome, man. Cause I'm reaching out, you know what I'm saying, here, trying to get my family together, you know what I'm saying, genuinely trying to get his family orchestrated together where we know each other and everything, you know what I'm saying? So, how they were backlashing, you know what I'm saying, pushing me away, pushing me away, like as if I was young and trying to get some type of meal ticket out the hood or something like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But that ain't, that ain't even my steelo, man. I, so, so to the point where I even, now I'm at the point where I need to, I need to make the decision do I distance myself or do we come to the table and we get this over, you know what I'm saying, do we overcome this? So we can move, 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 move like family as a, as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Unity. Unity is powerful, man. Huh? Right. And you're very, you're very grown. You're very humble. And you want to meet them. You want to get a relationship with them. You want to get an understanding with them. So that's perfectly um, understandable. But me as a mother is only so much I'm going to take and go through. But... I'm going to let you do whatever you want to do as far as you want to meet them, you want to get a relationship with them, that's fine. Tell them that. This is your time to talk. Let them know. Uh, well, I'm putting it on wax right now, man. I, you know, I, <laughs> even though, even though, you, like, like, you, like, you understand, know like, like everybody knows, man, that's, that's what's different to my family, man. So, but I still, I was telling people I was raised, man. We not chasing nobody, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, so if we could come together and meet each other in the middle and, and have some type of, because I'm, I'm willing to put, put the past in the past, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to chase nobody, you know what I'm saying, for no love, you know what I'm saying? I, I, really, I really diss myself and know, and, 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 and the side of family who is really the way talk to me, that I, I, I touch bases with them and we get and we get that on the stuff, but other than that, you know what I'm saying? You know, those who is still on that, you know what I'm saying? You know, we can stay on that, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, it's not, not not to be in a negative energy type of way, but just, just, just put it like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I've been trying and trying and trying and reaching out. I've been trying and trying and reaching out, man, to, to you know, unread messages, messages read, you know, just leave me on hold to the point where, to the point where now I'm, I'm I ain't, I ain't, I'm, 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 I'm really, I'm really just, you know, taking it for what it is, you know what I'm saying? 
Right. You can't force man, nobody to. Fun, man. Right. You can't force nobody to, you know, like you or love you or whatever. And you're not here for them to love. You're not here for them, you know, to, you, you don't have to run behind them. First of all, as far as Peach is saying, I'm a clout chaser. You already know we come from money. I have my own money. We have our own money. So it's not that you want something from them or I want something for them because I took care of Slim. Yeah, I worked three jobs and made sure they were straight, you know. So it's not about no clout chasing, and I want her to quit saying that. Because clout chasing for what? Because they don't have anything. All they have is that house and that truck that's 16 years old. So it's no, what am I clout chasing for? What is it that y'all can give me? What is it that y'all can give my son? The only thing that my son want from his grandmother is to be loved. But he has a grandmother. He has a great grandmother. He has family, you know, so like I say, I'm with you and would you want to meet them and, you know, have a relationship with them. But also I'm not going to let them play with you. So you already know how I stand on that. Let the world know, like what you say, you, your mom is your what? My everything, man. My mama been, been every, every, it's been, been there for me for every little chance that I, every chance I've been through, man. She's been right there with me. You say your mama is your man. king and your queen, huh? Queen, man, my everything, man. <laughs> queen. That's right. That's right. I took care of you. I made sure you were straight. You know what I'm saying? I told him a little bit about how Master P helped me out, too. You know, so if Master P felt like you wasn't for Slim, he wouldn't have been doing that for Slim to try to help him. But the thing of it is, me and, you know, Master P Cousins was, was cool, you know. So it was always a family thing. It was always a family thing. So that's why I say everybody know about you. They don't know about you. Wow. Come on, y'all know now. So what's the, pro what's the, what's the problem? But I asked them for a blood test again. This is my second time. I'm not going to ask another time. The next time I'm sending her a subpoena. And also, I'm going to send a subpoena. If it gets to that point to where they upset me, I will send a subpoena. I want to exhume him. So which way you want to go? You want to give me the blood test, Linda? Or you want me to exhume his body? I don't think you want me to disturb his resting place. Cause I I sent I sent um your grandmother a Instagram message and I asked her could we please sit down as women and hash this out? Can we please talk? Um either she either I could come to her or she can come to my mama house. So she never read it. But then Peaches go on there the next day on Instagram. Oh, she she texts my mom and she threatened my mom about whipping her ass and all that. I didn't say nothing in that text about whipping her ass. I could show everybody the message where I done reached out to these people twice and they still denying me to get a blood test. First of all, the blood test is to have the paperwork because I'm tired of y'all saying he's not for y'all. What y'all running from a blood test for? Because if he wasn't my son's child, I would hurry up and give this woman a blood test. I wouldn't be pushing it off. So if you hide from a blood test, that means what? Um, I know that's my son's child, but I don't want, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be an apology. It's going to be all that they're going to have to do. So they don't want to do that. They don't want to do that. They don't want to say I'm sorry. And, it, and it's crazy when it's dealing with family. It's not like me from strangers or anything like that. That's why I'm, that's what, this was hurting me so much though, you know. Right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man. I'm, 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 I'm a man. So, you know, then I got my future ahead of me. You know what I'm saying? I'm really just focusing on making a change, man. I've been, I've been reading this, the marathon on stop. You know what I'm saying? By Nissa Hustle. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and I just, I just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just sprinting my, sprinting my, uh, my, my mind, body, and spirit, man. Stand, stand wise, man. Right, and that's what you're supposed to do. That's what I've been focusing on, spending myself. 
and that's what you're supposed to do. I'm behind you 100%. I got you. I'm going to hold you down. You know, as far as a mom and a daddy, I'm all you know. And I will be there. I'm not going to never leave your side. But if you want to continue on to reach out to these people and get a relationship with them, that's you. I'm going to be with you. But, you know, to me, honestly, they're weird. To say we want uh, we, we want something from them. What do we want from y'all? Y'all don't have nothing. We come from money. I can help them with some money. If she needed a help, a loan out of some, or if Peaches needed a track or a beat or something, I can, I can pay for her studio session. I mean, I can help her with her rap career. You know, so what do you mean I'm cloud chasing? Cloud chasing on what? I'm sorry, mom. You we gonna get it. We gonna we gonna get it established, mama. That's how that's how we gonna that's how we gonna show the world, mama, just by establishing us and pushing on our legacy, mama. That's it. Right. Let me let me let me let me. I gotta let me, I gotta go ahead and wrap. All right. Quick, man, it's about to my writing and other shit, mama. I'm, uh, I'm gonna call you back on the family. All right, baby. Love you. I'm gonna call you right back on the family. All right. I love you too. All right. Uh, that boy sounds just like Slim. The country slim. The country slim. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Dane, I'm gonna throw a few names out there to you, um, and you you just tell me, you know, catch me, catch what I'm what I'm throwing at you. Uh, baby or Master P? <laughs> really, mm. Master P? Why? Because I just vibe more with. Master P than Baby. It's it's a lot of stuff that Baby has done. You know Baby too. To his artists, I don't too much agree with. Okay. BG or C Murder? Oh, man. Don't do that. I can't choose out of BG and C Murder. I can't. BG is my brother because they have slim best friend. C Murder is my brother because they have Slim best friend. Oh my God, I can't. Ch I can't choose between those two. No. I got your nail. Okay. I can't. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. Okay. Mia X or Turk? Mia X or Turk? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Who? How are you comparing these people like that? <laughs> I love Mia X because she's a female rapper and also she she's real. She keeps it real. Turk grew up under me. He's out the Magnolia Project, so. That's some hard. You just, just some hard choices. That's good. But you gonna pass that one too? You gonna come back to that one? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass that one. Okay. I'm Turk. You gonna go with Turk? I'm with the home team. Okay. I love Mill. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Manny Fresh or KLC? <sighs> oh my God! Why are you doing me this? This is so hard. I love KLC because he started Slim off. And I love Manny <laughs> Fresh. I think Manny Fresh is the coldest DJ in New Orleans besides Sinister on the track. Got to give my shout out to T. He's, he's, he's a real one. So who you going with, Dave? Uh, so Manny Fresh. Manny Fresh? Okay. Silk the Shocker. Or Juvie? Juvie. Why? Because. Juvie at the Magnolia? Juvie, Juvie at the Magnolia. Old side. Mm-hmm. What silk from them from? Calio. They from the Calio. So you going with Juvie? I'm going with Juvenile. Okay. Um, Little Wayne, just by himself. What you think about He just Wayne? by himself. Or all this by himself. You can't compare him to nobody. Lil Wayne has his own um, style, his own persona, his own everything. He's 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 in class. He's in a class. He's in a whole world of his own. Yeah. Put it like that. You remember Wayne, Wayne is as the, a little boy. Yeah, I remember Wayne when he was a little boy. Yes. Okay. Matter of fact, my son. And Regine Wayne's daughter was born at the same hospital. 
Okay. And they were born like right at the same time because when Wayne used to bring her in for her checkups, I used to be there with my son. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. So Miss Dana, you you you're on the internet now. You 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 talking, you speaking, uh, you, you catching a lot of good and the bad. Um, but, but how's your uh, personal life? Are you in a relationship? What's your relationship status? Um, no, I'm not in a relationship. I'm single. I'm big single with capital letters. And that's about it. That sounds like you you looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. What you looking for? I'm looking for a nice, decent man. Young, old. <laughs> I'm looking for older, somebody my age. Somebody your age? Yeah. You sure? I'm positive. I'm positive. Okay. Uh, what 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 are some of the requirements that that man should have? Some of the requirements is he must have a job. He must work. Um, he must love his mother. So what if he got money but he don't work? Okay. So is he a dope boy? I don't know what he is. But oh. what if he just got money and he don't, but he don't work though? Okay, well, we can make an exception on him. I don't <laughs> see what, you know, I but see if he ain't got no money, he need to go have a job. If he don't have no money, he needs to have a job. He need to have a career. He need to be established. Okay. I'm not building nobody else up. I, I've built up a lot of men in my day. Helped them, put them on their feet. You must be pretty good at it. I'm very good at it. I have no complaints. <laughs> None. This sounds like a like a, a he calling back like a dating a dating show and he, that's a confirmation that you don't need no man. They go your man calling. Guess what? Right I don't need a man at all. Um, I can take care of myself. I'm very independent, and you know it's it's to be honest, it's hard dealing with me. It would have to be a man that will have to understand me. You know my attitude, everything about me, and even my heart, because. I have a heart of gold, mm -hmm. and they would just have to understand me. I have my ups and downs. I'm, I'm not easy to deal with at all. I have guys tell me that I think I'm more manly than them, or either I'm too independent, I'm too forward, I'm too this and too that. I mean, well, hey, that's all I know. You date white men? I would. You would? I would. You haven't before? I haven't before. Was there any white people growing up in the Magnolia? No. No before white people? When my, when my grandmother first moved into Magnolia, it was all white. Mm. Believe it or not. It was all white when she first moved in there. And I don't remember what year it was, but it was way back then. Because she was one of the first black people in that Magnolia project. And when she died, she was still living in the Magnolia project. Were you in New Orleans for Katrina? No, I left two days before Katrina. You, you you knew it was coming and you got the memo and you got up out of there. I knew it was coming and I <clears> begged my mama, let's go. My mama wanted to go to the Superdome. No, lady, we're not going to the Superdome. We leaving. You went to, you came to Texas? Texas. Where'd you go? Pulled out to Texas. Okay. We traveled a lot for the hurricane. Mm-hmm. It's like everybody's family was unstable because you had to go from place to place, place to place, place to place. And it was hard. We went from Port Arthur, Texas. We went to Houston. We went to Longview, Texas. We went to um, Tyler, Texas. We went to um, Crowley, Louisiana. And then back to Texas because my grandmother's from Port Arthur, Texas. So we have okay. family there. And our family took us in there. Okay. Well, thank you for stopping through on the Bob Report. Miss um, Dana, it's been a pleasure. Uh, and hopefully we'll, we'll see you again. Hopefully you will. <laughs> okay, you have a good day. You too. <laughs> nice meeting you. So you, you, you mentioned that you would date white men. Um, what other men would you be interested in, Ms. Dana? I would date white men. I would date Asian men. I would date <laughs> Mexican. 
Um, what about a brother from from Africa? I would love to date somebody from Africa, and I would um, I would even date a uh, Iranian. Why, why, so we're gonna start right here. Why would you date a Asian guy? I would date an Asian guy because we have a lot in common as far as food. You know, okay. We, it, our relationship would be based on us, you know, being in love or whatever. But the food, they're very smart, they're very intelligent, and I can learn a lot from them, and they can learn a lot from me too. What they can learn from you? They can learn from me as far as my cooking skills and how I get down and, you know, my attitude, my demeanor, just myself, period. What you mean how you get down? Like, life, how I live my life. Okay, so you gonna keep it, you gonna keep it, keep it cool. Okay, well, <laughs> what about the Hispanic guys? What about Hispanic them? Hispanic guys, I date, I date Hispanic guys. Um, I, I have to learn Spanish. I had Spanish one and Spanish two in high school, mm -hmm. so I have to refresh that up. But yes, I would love to date a Spanish guy. Um, yeah, I can vibe with a Spanish guy as well. What about the Iranian brother? What what you gonna do with Iranian him? Iranian brother, I will be more like into him to learn more about my journey with being a Muslim. And you a Muslim? Getting him to help me out, I'm starting. Okay. <laughs> um, I've been starting for a while now, so I gotta really get it under control. <laughs> but yeah, um, Iranians they're not all bad. All of them are not bad. They got some good loving. You know, uh, Iranian brothers. Are your eyelashes blue? Yeah, the ends of my eyelashes are blue. Every hairstyle I have, my eyelashes will be the same color. I love colors. Okay. Okay, well, thank you. I think you might have started a new dating show or uh, uh, something for Miss Dana here in I Texas. I need a new dating show. I need to find love. I need to find happiness. I need to, yeah, really get with that program. And I need <laughs> to find a man that I cannot intimidate because I intimidate so many brothers to where they run from me. They can't handle my attitude. They can't handle um, me, period. Like, they want me to bow down to them and this and that. I'm not going to do that. No. I'm just as strong as a man. I was raised with seven uncles. You know, and like I said, all my babysitters was gangsters, so I ain't no way I'm finna bow down to nobody. I'm about that. That's why a lot of them say, you more, you gonna be more man than me. Okay, well, hey, it is what it is. I'm <laughs> not gonna change who I am for you. Gotcha. Okay, Miss Dan. Hey, real tone, it's a real money in the room.